every few years, every Australian gets to have their say on who runs this great country. And unlike some other countries, Australians are free to vote for whoever they like. Our elections are fair and without corruption, and everyone gets a vote. We've got it pretty good here in Australia. But every election, there's thousands of votes that don't get counted because people don't know how to vote properly. Or they try and vote for themselves, or their mates, or they vote for a different type of member. And their votes don't count. So no wonder we end up with dodgy politicians and buffheads running this great country. Which is why I'm here. National Treasure, John Burgess. To make sure this election, you know how to make your vote count and vote responsibly. But to truly understand how to vote, we first got to understand how our system of government works. Now, there are two houses of parliament, the House of Representatives and the Senate. Both have different functions. So let's take a look at the House of Reps. Australia is broken up into 151 electorates, with each of those electing a representative. That's why they call it the House of Representatives. Get it? Whichever party wins, more than 50% of the seats in the House of Representatives will form government, and the leader will be the Prime Minister. Now, when the government want to make a new law, they kick it off here in the House of Representatives. It gets debated and voted on. And because the government has a majority of the votes already, most laws will pass without too much debate or scrutiny. We don't want our government passing laws willy-nilly, so we had to come up with a way to keep a check on them, which is why we have the Senate. Every state elects 12 senators and each territory elects two, so we get 76 senators in total. Now, this is why the Senate is often called the state's house. Now, when we vote for a senator, we're voting for a person that'll keep an eye on the government and make sure their state isn't being screwed over. On election day, you'll be given two forms to fill out. This green ballot is for the House of Reps, and this big white one is for the Senate. Voting is really easy for the House of Reps. All you have to do is rank the candidates, with your favourite getting a number one, second favourite with a two, and you won't believe this, but your third favourite gets a three. See what I mean? Couldn't be easier. All you have to do is make sure every box has a number in it. And then there's this big Senate ballot. You've got two choices for how to cast your vote. You can vote above the line or below the line. Now, most people vote above the line. All you have to do is rank your favourite party to your least favourite party. And you don't have to number every box on this one, just at least six. You can count to six, can't you? <laughs> of course you can. Now, once you put your ballot in the box, the counting begins. All the number ones are counted first and tallied. If a candidate gets more than 50% of the vote, they win. If none of the candidates wins more than 50% of the votes, then the person in last place is eliminated and their second preferences will be allocated to the candidates left in the race. This process of eliminating the candidates in last and allocating their preferences continues until someone wins 50% of the vote. Now, this is why it matters who you vote as your first preference, but also who you give your second and third preferences to. Now, this is why there's always people at the front of the voting center that will try and give you a how to vote card. These are instructions for how that party wants you to vote. They'll put themselves first and give their mates or parties they've made deals with their second and third preferences. You don't have to follow a how to vote card. No one can tell you who you should vote for or in what order you give your preferences. You own your preferences. They are yours and yours alone. And that's it. That's voting. It's not hard. Choosing who to vote for, that's the hard bit. But hey, if we all know how to vote properly, maybe we'll end up with better politicians running this great country of ours. Vote responsibly. Authorised by our Miles for Paul Hansen's One Nation Brisbane.